Welcome, guys, to Why Game Stores Fail, Episode 2. Now, with me saying this... Oh, hold on, let me adjust the lighting. That's a little better. All right, well, um, with me saying this, who knows? I might fail soon, but uh, that'll be uh, for a future episode. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm still sick. I uh, It's Saturday. I've come down with the flu, so I've had like 10 to 20 different sicknesses in this past three weeks, and uh, it doesn't seem to be lighting up. So, but we still got to come in. We still got to work. All right. So why game stores fail? Episode two. Inability to adapt. So I'm going to share something that I've been doing and it's been working pretty well. And it is the TCG player buy list feature. Um, it's astounding to me that the stores that I've talked to that don't even use this feature. It's kind of insane to me. They rely solely on walk-in trade-ins, which is good if you get that, but you might not get that because, you know, low traffic area, etc. Sure, the buy list pricing is a little bit more competitive, but I'm going to show you with all the features that I have how it becomes worth it because I know a lot of people don't like Binder POS and everything like that, but once you become integrated with them, uh, you can adjust your margins, pricing, etc., to make it worth it. All right, let's go to the uh, buy list. All right, fancy transition. Okay, so here we are in my one of my uh, main TCG player accounts. And uh, okay, so this is the buy list right now. We really haven't been we we've been using it a little bit, um, not too much, but we we do use it. So the settings I have set for this is um, you pretty much go to my withholding settings, and what I do is my maximum withholding is a thousand dollars. You'll never reach that because the minute you have money in this, if you have your um, buy list uh competitive you will automatically run out of money it's insane so i remit 25 percent of my total earnings back to tcg player for them to hold for me so i could buy cards from them that they get buy listed to them with it, which in turn they buy list to me and they take a 10 percent cut of the buy list price so let's go to my uh things i bought recently all right, we'll go to my buy list purchase orders. We've done a few this month too, so far. Uh, nothing crazy here. All right, let's go, actually, let's go to this. Um, no. My withholdings. So we'll go to pending purchases. We'll go to view that. This becomes more clear once you uh, click this and get in here. All right, we'll go to purchase dates. We'll sort by uh, the purchase date, recent. So the 25th, which was yesterday, we ran out of money. <coughs> Excuse me. So, all right. Boom, right here. Renin 6 foil etched. We bought it for $66.10. Now, TCG player will take a 10% cut of that. So, in turn, it's pretty much going to cost us... Uh, where's the calculator? Uh, 66 plus 10%, whatever. I should have guessed that off the top of my head. 66 plus 6.6 .6 equals $72.60. So, let's go to that. What's it selling for? If you were to just throw it right back on TCG Player, you're really not going to make a lot of money. <laughs> You're going to lose money. So how do you make money? All right. Let's go to uh, my Shopify. All right. So we pulled up Ren and Six Foil Edge Double Masters. We sell this card in store for $102. Now, I know you're saying, wow, um, that's a lot more. But 
we sell through our the median price, which is a much more accurate representation of market value. Um, I'm sorry, I was in the middle. I was blocking it right here. This is what we sell by, median price. We could also do market, um, but this right here is, I'm sorry if you heard that lozenge. Um, this right here is the lowest price. We don't, we don't go by that. That's nonsense. I ignore that. It's craziness. People just trying to dump cards. Uh, whatever. It is what it is. Um, so we go by this price, 101, uh, 55. Now, which the thing, if we listed this card, you know what? Let me say I have one in stock. Now, another thing that sort of pads my margins. Now, this card will immediately get listed to eBay for me. Now, let's pull up our eBay. All right. There we go. Jesus, took a while. So, as you can see, <coughs> um, we are selling it on eBay for $112.20. Now, I know what you're saying. If someone could buy it for $78... Off of eBay, why the hell would they buy it off you for $112? It happens all the time, all day long. Believe me, it happens. So we'll pull up the uh, eBay final value fee calculator. Uh, eBay fee calculator, this is the one I use. It's the mo most accurate one. Where is it? Oh, uh, that's it. No, this isn't it. Uh, I should have it bookmarked, but I don't. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. All right, so what was the sell price? 112.20. 12.20. Shipping charge to the buyer. We charge them 99 cents. It's, it's going to cost us, it's going to go, you know, a uh, padded envelope whatever so four bucks <coughs> so our cost what was our cost um 72.60 now we are an ebay store top rated seller we're gonna make 24 buckaroos on that now if we would sell it in store what would we make let's do that math so 102 dollars Minus, um, what was it, 76? We'll do 102 minus 3% processing fee, whatever. Take away 3%, $3.06. Minus, we'll just say $4. 98 bucks minus the purchase price, which was what, 76, 77? We actually make almost more. We do. We make more selling it on eBay than we do in store. Uh, that is because I charge a 10% markup on eBay, all my singles. Now, I know what you're saying. How the hell do you sell on eBay if you're charging 10% more for everything? Uh, I've been doing this since I opened my store. I've had 10,000 items sold this past year on eBay all you know decently uh valued stuff nothing like i don't you know we don't list anything under a dollar because you can't all right so okay what do we got you know all sorts of things here we can go to our top sellers which was this right here the commander legend boulders gate pre-release codes we make a dollar every time we sell one uh it's guys we, we do sell a decent amount of stuff here mirror box we sell also this is just the past 28 days ragavans someone bought three of them at a 10 percent markup uh so i charge 94 dollars and 90 cents let's see what they're going for on tcg player it's not it's this isn't there's nothing wrong about doing this it's all about accessibility some people don't like shopping on TCG Player. They just don't like it. So you want to be able to fulfill the needs of these people. Ragaman Borderless right now, boom. $77. Um, 
77 bucks. Like, why would someone order from me from 94? They just will. I'm actually out of stock um, on rags, the borderless ones, just because I sold all three on eBay. And you could just do this so on and so forth with like every card. I know we chose a really valuable card. Let's choose a like, you know, mid-grade card where, you know, you can make a dollar off of a dollar card. Um, you can pump out a lot more of those than you can with this. Let's choose... Um, uh, what's a good card that's sort of low value? March of Otherworldly Light Showcase. Let's click that. <coughs> okay, right now, 333 uh, on TCG Player. Let's see what we sell for. Right now, we have two in stock. We sell them for $3.80, which is not too far off. We're buying them for, let's cancel this. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. All right. So we're buying them for $1.90, 10% fee to uh, TCG player, which is 19 cents. So we'll just round it up to $2.10. So let's see what we're selling those for on eBay. March of Otherworldly Light. Let's click this. We have two available, $4.18. Sure, uh, none have sold as of yet, but they will. And if they do, $4.18. Shipping charge, $0.99. Cents. Shipping cost, cost me around $0.77 cents all in. And then the item cost, what did we say, $2.10. We make a dollar forty-four. A dollar forty-four. <coughs> so, as you can see, you know, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm dying. <coughs> as you can see, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a coughing fit. Um, dollar forty-four you make. So really, no matter what, you're making money, unless you know you get dumped with a, a reprint, which sometimes happens. Uh, players, you know, they, you know, kind of, I don't want to say take advantage, but they, it's kind of taken advantage of the buy list. Uh, when things pop off and you're not quick enough, they'll dump a bunch of, uh, reprinted cards on you. It happens in store too. Uh, it hurts more when it happens in store and it's your local customers doing it to you, but it is what it is. It's all in the name of the game. Yeah. So guys, I hope this kind of uh, helped you out a little bit. Um, I know it's kind of a little bit of a rough draft into uh, doing the buy list and stuff like that, but it's very simple. I know a lot of stores who aren't doing it, and you really should, because uh, you want to get you know a wide variety of cards for people to buy at your store on your um, you know your online store, all, all that. But you want to be able to stock it, and the only way you can really is if you go online to a buy list. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.